Hyundai seems to have hit a sweet spot with its first sub 4 meter SUV, the Venue. With a range of engines and a host of features, the Venue does make for a tempting proposition. But it's surely not all good, right? Welcome back to Car Dekho, where we help you pick the right car right now. Right now, let's get to know the pros and cons of the Venue. And let's begin with the negatives first. Can the Hyundai Venue seat 5? Yes, it can, but at a pinch. If the Venue had more width at the rear seat, it would have definitely been a better family car. And on that note, Knee Room 2 could have been slightly better. You will feel the pinch if you are above 6 feet tall. Yes, Hyundai has tried to make up for the lack of the SX Option automatic variant with an SX Plus, but it is missing essentials like front and rear armrest and a rear wiper. Not done. We're sure many wouldn't mind spending a little extra to get a fully loaded Venue DCT with the all-important six airbags. Hyundai's Venue has got its pricing spot on, but that's not without cutting a few corners. For instance, the turn indicators feature regular bulbs, not LEDs. You get two parking sensors instead of four and a few features such as an auto-dimming rearview mirror and rain-sensing wipers have been missed. With the negatives out of the way, let's tell you what makes the Venue a tempting buy. Hyundai is the second manufacturer to offer three engine options in this segment after Ford. You can pick and choose between them based on your usage pattern. You've got the 1.2 litre petrol that should be adequate for city use, the 1.4 litre diesel for munching miles and a peppy 1 litre turbo petrol that's happy doing a bit of both. The turbo petrol will make life easier inside the city thanks to the optional DCT. And that brings us to the next positive. With Tata offering a cost-effective AMT and Ford switching back to a torque converter, it's only the venue that offers a dual-clutch automatic in this space. Compared to the other two, this automatic is definitely more polished, delivering a relaxed driving experience. Hyundai's Venue debuts its Blue Link tech. This brings the car to the 21st century with the power of the internet. You can lock or unlock the vehicle, switch on air conditioning, honk and flashlights from anywhere in the world using a phone app. Not just that, you can also track your vehicle in real time, push maps to the car's infotainment and get updates regarding the car's health as well. The Venue is packing in practically everything you need at this price point. In fact, the SX variant, that's one below the top spec SX option, gets goodies such as a sunroof, cruise control, as well as the touchscreen infotainment system. The top spec adds feel-good features such as keyless entry, push-button start, and wireless charging. The one above base S variant is quite well equipped too. To know which variants we recommend, hit the link in the i button on the top right-hand corner of your screen. Now to answer the all-important question. Should you buy one? Well, yes, the venue's positives far outweigh its shortcomings. It's just the right size for the city, can tackle highway duties and then there's the right blend of quality and features as well. Yes, we'd have liked a slightly roomier cabin and a top spec automatic, but other than that, the venue leaves little to complain about. If you've liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, queries or doubts, leave them in the comment section below. We'd be more than happy to answer them immediately. And as always, if you haven't already, subscribe to the Kadekho YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.